Yo, yo, yo! This is Saul, also known as SPL Gum, also known as Spatial Gum, also known as Grunt, your hardest team skull Grunt. We are off to Super Boss number 13 of Gengar C slash Gengar's Cavernous Hideout. And this next boss, I don't care what his spelling is, I call it Cuffrageous. It's like Cuffagregus, I don't know. It's Cuffrageous for me, I don't care. We've fought against this super boss so many times in the past, guys. We're almost done with our research at Gengar C, but we've just heard some curious news. It seems that even stronger Pokemon has started showing up. Can I ask you to check it out? Fine, I mean... Let me just check who the heck this is. Maybe it's some Pokemon that we don't have yet. Slowbro Grassland. Maybe we'll get a stronger Pokemon. I envy the owner of this stage or island. He has a Dragonite summon gear. If you saw that earlier, I don't have a Dragonite. Cry. So maybe yes, the opponents or the Pokemon that we're getting now are kind of much stronger. They're at. 700, 800, 1000 CP, so we can probably replace our Mankey, which is at, I forgot how many CP that is. We can replace with stronger Pokemon now. Slowbro, Hermit Crab Pokemon. Let's just make quick work, destroy, 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 kill. So Slowbro is dead we have one psychic unusual or our other unusual or for this one oh did i see stomp did i see stomp so guys should i actually dispose this fighting type Probably yes, because I don't know if there's a higher possibility of getting super rares if the ore is the same type. I mean, I have three steel type rare ores from the previous island. I just, I just hope that we could get our, you know, let's switch with stomp. So 918 CP switching 2418 CP equipping this wait am I kind of overpowered now I don't know guys switching with magnitude summon gear and then switching with this Pokemon closing adventure let's just probably hunt for a bit more Pokemon first before moving on because I think we're kind of overpowered if we fight against this one. And I don't want to be super overpowered. Because I want to help you guys come up with a strategy. It's so one way or another. I don't know how helpful that would be. But yeah. You get the idea. My phone is a bit slowing down. I'm worried that I'm running out of space. Stomp is still kind of powerful it's not overpowered anymore but it's still powerful and the big knight buddy i have also has stomp it's so funny stomping stomping hello primate stomp Stomp, and look at how wide the area of stomp is. Area of attack. Boom. Boom. So many rare ores. My goodness. Anyway guys, um, let's quickly move to the next battle. Let's 
lessen our power. It's we're kind of too powerful right now. So Cofagrigus or Cofragus is I think he's a ghost type, so he's kind of weak against dark. So we switch back to this uh, ignite. And because we're kind of powerful, let's just make ourselves intentionally weaker. This move gear, I have no idea where I got it again. And I don't know how you will be able to get more move gears. But we're gonna use this. And we're gonna use sadly our probably let's just try to use our ice beam level one vulpix makes me sad if i watch that again and then i haven't exactly tried vulpix yet so target cp 1950 we are at 1813, but we're super effective. Let's just battle, guys. If you are super effective, the damage kind of doubles. So you want that to happen. Coffrageous. Killing, 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 killing. Let's just use Vulpix Ice Beam. And just killing everything. While he uses that, I use this. Why am I lagging? And then once again, probably charge, charging, 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 charging. He's gonna attack, maybe, I don't know. Yes, he did. We are kind of weak. Maybe we'll lose this, guys. We are. We might lose this. We might lose this. We're gonna lose this, guys. We're not dealing enough damage. Okay. We're gonna lose this. We turn to Balloon. Let's increase our strength a bit more. Too weak. We're too weak. Going to Pokemon and Gears. Switching. Assurance is kind of weak. So... Um, not move gear. But maybe switching this with charge attack level 10, maybe. And then from here, switch. I mean, probably you shouldn't be using ice beam anyway because it's kind of not effective as well. It's kind of weak also. So dark type. I mean, Ghost type is weak against Dark type. We're gonna use Night Day's gear, Zorua. And then from there, we switch. And then we battle. Pick your summon gears carefully, guys, because, you know, if you're having a hard time, just experiment. Switch, switch your summon gears. Some summon gears work better, some have wider range, some narrower, some has extra effects. Just play with them, experiment, don't get stressed. Like this one is super effective and it makes a lot, lot more damage than earlier. A while ago, we cannot destroy the shield, now we can because of charge boost. Just a tiny, tiny increase in attack power can actually destroy the opponent's shield and now we can actually defeat the boss just a tiny change in equipment guys once again we charge and destroy the shield and then let's try to use night rays. i mean some people actually advise not to use summon gear when the opponent is in shield mode, I think I'm actually gonna lose this still. I might lose this. Hey, I might lose this. We kind of mess up earlier. But! Just in time. You know, you can be more powerful, just equip more summon gears. But we actually defeated Coverageous! Because it's coverageous. One second left. 
thank you guys for watching and if you if you like my videos subscribe guys because it really helps and please comment please share these videos because it also really helps and wow a snorlax it's not an ultimate boss anymore it's super boss thank you guys see you in the next video i'm ending this here Bye.